guys, and today we are going to um be um making. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to do something else at the same time. We're trying to um make realistic smoke without using that nasty, expensive, and sometimes harmful to your locomotive fluid. So don't use without using smoke fluid. Okay. So what we need, what all you need, and it's, it's one material, well two materials really. You need a train, a steam train. You need to have a steam train. This is this little one I had lying around, so I decided to use it. And all you need is a cotton ball. Yes, you can find cotton balls, you know, everywhere. So this is super easy, super, super cheap. And well, you can buy a big bag of them. Oh, you can, you know, do this with all, every single of your engines, steam engines, of course, and, um, yeah, every single, like, of your engines, so, you know, it's not like you have to buy $500 worth of it to use three fuel one engine, it's like 20 bucks for, like, 500 maybe, like, I'm kind of exaggerating, but really more 50 is more realistic, so, I'm going to show you how, yeah, just one second. Here we go. So away. We got I got a beautiful coal train for this to haul. So here's the steam train. Here's the cotton ball. So what I do with the cotton ball is that I just tear a piece off and you just, you know, thin it out. Thin it out to make it fit as you to make it fit the um the little funnel. You see, see, this funnel is very small, so I'm going to have to thin it, or stack, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to have to tape this down a lot. Never mind. Okay. So let me try to tear a piece off. Tear a piece off. There you go. You just got to rub it. Probably can't get it on camera, but this is what you got to do then. Yeah, I got to thin it some more. You gotta thin it just for it to make the little bit in the end to fit inside it. Stuff it inside it. Look at that! You, know, you can kind of spread it out, you know, flee it, make it go one way, like it's heading this way or the other way. But look at that! Looks very realistic. Especially if it's like, I mean, it's not as realistic as smoke fluid. I gotta admit that, but definitely safer easier on your locomotive and definitely cheaper so if you're new to the hobby or you just you're making your first layout and you don't want to spend a lot of money on it this and if you want to make realistic smoke that's what you do now I'm see I'm gonna put the tinder on here to put the train on here okay let's move this over Come on, little bugger. Sorry, this this tinder is very hard to get on. This train. Alright, all we gotta do is hook this up. There you go. Okay, here we go. Well, I'll turn it on. See, now it looks very realistic as it's going. Wait, it's got to turn this on just real quick. There you go. There it goes. Look at it go. See, it looks very realistic. Probably can't see it now, but it's going good and it looks great. And that's it, guys. That's all I gotta really show you. So if that's it, if that's it. What am I gonna do now? You know, leave a like if you like this video. If it helped you tremendously with your budget, because I know how the economy is these days. If it helped you, leave a like or even subscribe. For more videos, Monorail Riding Forever. See you guys. See you, you Monorail Riders later. Bye.